What's up there guys, it's Matt Hope you guys are well. Today we're doing a review of the Bose QC25. These are the Quiet Comfort 25 series um, headphones with active noise cancellation. And the main reason that I also picked up this version, not the Bluetooth version, was that I have now added an adapter to make it wireless. And now it works wirelessly with the Nintendo switch drop that intro let's do a review all right guys as you know i've got plenty of headphones that i've been on a mission to try and find the perfect headphones that would work with aptx low latency that's the codec that you need for it to have a sync um, to have a lag free experience with gaming systems most traditionally bluetooth headsets don't really bother with um, any sort of latency because you just listen to music so it doesn't really matter but when you're using a bluetooth transmitter or a receiver and you're using bluetooth headphones they need to be aptx low latency when it comes to gaming systems and as you know uh, nintendo switch doesn't actually accept bluetooth natively so i need to buy this adapter uh, this is a tron bluetooth transmitter also a receiver but I'll put it into TX mode which is transmit mode and it says Trond on it and it's got a little indication light as well to say that it's working in whichever mode it is and they've got APTX low latency mode which is it blinks three times in blue every 10 to 20 seconds so you will see there on the close up on b-roll um, where it blinks every um, I believe it's about 20 seconds what they say but it blinks um, three times in blue to indicate that it's an aptx low latency and it actually works with this specific b tunes um, by voxowa um, it's really cool basically it just slots on to the headphone socket like so and you can't even tell that it's there and you've also got it's very slim and it literally just goes into a headphone jack and it just clips in and you can't even tell that it's there and it has the buttons that you need the power off the the volume up and volume down so i believe you can skip tracks with that and you can play pause and you can answer phone calls but also that where they put the rechargeable jack as well is right at the bottom unlike this other one here which is the same price these headphone jacks these headphone adapters are actually 40 quid about 39.99 on amazon and this is like another knockoff version which actually um, appeared to say a particular latency if you look on the actual uh, pictures here of the advert but I tested it and you can see that it blinks only once so it's showing that it's not aptx low latency from my transmitter so I know that this is not working in aptx low latency and if you look at the size difference as well it's huge so this is not good and also you can see the new uh, micro USB charging point is on the inside so it does stick out but it's so big that you can actually charge it while it's on but it's just a really bad positioning for everything and it's huge whereas this one is a lot more you can't even tell it's like literally i just pop it on my head and it's like you know you really can't tell um so i just really pop my um i can't even hear myself speak that's how the anc active noise cancellation is on this headphone it's, it's brilliant you turn it off it becomes a bit more echoey you can sort of hear things um but when you turn this on it makes it very very uh like it looks like you're almost like it's happening in a little box really far away that's what the additional sounds on the outside sound like it really blocks out airplane noise it blocks out bus noise road traffic noise is so awesome and i've been looking for a headphone that actually has anc uh built into it none of these headphones that i had in the past a um was my first introduction to active uh, low latency um, codex aptx low latency and um, it served its purpose i now use it for my gym one um, but then i upgraded to this one here because i wanted something a bit more premium look with the metal sachet and also the fact that it has uh, this twisty sort of headphone jacks that um that i like the ear cups that hang on i can't hear nothing wow i can hear my own voice but yeah it's brilliant um these headphones are so light uh, compared to these ones here. This was my second introduction to APTX low latency headphones. These ones were, again, um, they are copy, similar design to what the Bose looked like. But the thing is, right, you can't find really expensive 
quality headphones with aptx low latency they don't seem to do it that's the problem and i've been in the search for finding the perfect headphones that actually supports aptx low latency and in the process i obviously came across aventry and this one here mix mixer right there so this one actually has the designs of the r and l's inside the cups which i really like and i like the way that they can fold like sideways and then you can fold it on itself so it's very low profile this is the most closest i got to like the style of the sort of the mechanics of a, um, a bose headphones but if you look inside it's all it says aptx latency right there so these are really cool you know they do the job and um, it works with an adapter. It works with my switch as well because it's got APTS low latency. So I can trans um, connect it to this transmitter and I can use it wirelessly. But I wanted to upgrade it because at the end of the day, uh, the sound quality is not of the same level as your, you know, your Bose's and stuff like that. So that's what I was looking for. And obviously um, it's a lot more heavy as well. It's a nice premium build, metal everywhere, but and it's a nice soft fabric here, sort of stylus over here, but and I've got the branding over there, but still it on a long journey, it does add a lot of weight. Whereas this one's a lot more lighter, the Aventry headphones. I've got a video on this one, you can see that as well. But um yeah, this one is light, but if you look at the design of it, you fold it like that, but it's got a lot of additional things that I don't like. When I'm traveling, these are things that get caught in stuff and they can break. You can sit on it and it will mess up. I want something a bit more sl slim and low profile like this. But this one's lighter, this one's a lot more heavier. So the compromise in between. Um, so I'm trying to find something that's, that's better than those sort of... Um, so I want something a bit more lighter as well as less um, additional things sticking out and that's where the Bose came into it. Now they've made like the QC35 and uh, that's the Bluetooth one but it doesn't support aptX low latency that's the biggest issue and I was researching into it and lo and behold QC25 actually support um, the wireless headphone um, via the wireless headphone jack. You've got a normal cable obviously that goes into it, it goes on propriety size but you take it off and you put in one of these so these are unfortunately they're 40 quid each you know you can't get them any cheaper but this one's really cool as you can see from the box up if you look at the back if you pause it you can read all the things that it supports and you know, it supports 10 hours battery life as well as um, aptx low latency all the codecs are there and it's bluetooth 5.0 version 5.0 so you've got uh, bluetooth profiles of a2dp hfp hsf um yeah so it takes about 1.5 one and a half hours to charge and you're looking at 10 hours in total and it comes in this really um so it's really cool it's sort of let's open it up so inside the packaging obviously you got the the jack would have been over here and inside got a charging cable and you've got a few warranty information and instruction manuals as well so um yeah very nice little setup there yeah as you can see with the b tune the charging points at the bottom with the micro usb so it's ideal because you don't need to take it off you can just leave it connected to your headphones um, all the time and when i'm ready to charge it just literally plug in the cable at the bottom as it should be on the right position not to the side like this uh, silly one here and obviously it just it's just more ergonomically designed so you just plug in the bottom and it, you don't even remember you, to be honest with the curves and the design of it you can't even tell it doesn't go any higher than the actual band over here so it's flush with it whereas this one does stick out so it's just it just literally just feels like it's part of the device and the, the logo is very tiny so it doesn't come in the way as well so i love that it's a nice um, headphone color as well it's all black with hints of navy blue turquoise in them inside and almost like a gunmetal style grayish black and yeah i mean compared to this one as well if you listen to the actual sounds of when you're when it says volume maximum hit you know things like um these ones they say it really loudly if you put the volume up to the max it goes you know you reach the maximum volume very loudly and um, it will tell you um the battery's low or the battery's uh, fully charged or it's um, sinking um 
or it says pairing but it says it very loudly whereas what i love about um the b tunes um adapter on my uh bose uh, they're very quiet you can hear it here in the video where it's pretty much it just says it very quietly delicately and it barely um, irritates you it doesn't come in the way and it will message you when it needs to there's a battery compartment in this one as well it takes a triple a battery uh, that's for the ANC so the echo noise cancellation it works without it so when the battery is dying it will sort of interruptly intermittently turn off and turn back on so that means the battery is dying so just replace your battery and you'll be fine I just pick up a uh, AAA uh, rechargeable batteries and they do the job just keep it recycling and cycling um, just keep one that's charged constantly and cycle the batteries and you'll be fine um, but I think the battery will last quite a while and remember to turn this off it's a, it's like a little green light that to show that ANC is on and turn it off and it shows like an orange color there um, and they're the only two things you've got to remember and as you can see it's got a nice flexi band here nice little um, soft padding over here a very cool sort of uh, jeans like texture um, nice little padded cushions uh, the cups say R and L I love that and um, yeah they rotate all the way so you can literally just you know you can keep like that or you can just rotate it down um, but it also means that you can fold it away like so and um, pop into that carry case check out this carry case very good quality I picked it up for very cheap by the way um, I think I paid just under 100 pounds and um, yeah it's got all of the things you need it's got a little aeroplane, aeroplane adapter and that's a little gap for the battery there and um, yeah it came with a, a box and everything so yeah really happy with this I can't believe I finally found a quality headphones that I know about Bose are the ones that apparently created ANC active noise cancellation and now I can experience that Bluetooth uh, wirelessly with these with the adapter by B tunes so all in all you know you added the additional 40 quid for that you're looking at about 100 and um, 130 quid for those set and um, you get to experience wireless headphones with your Nintendo Switch using the Tron adapter. Now this cabling is just extra. It means that it works whilst charging. You can take that off. But all you have is just the adapter on top and you can play wirelessly with your Nintendo Switch, just like so. So also what I really like about these headphones or should I say that your B-Tunes adapter is the fact that this adapter allows you to connect to two devices at the same time. So I connected to my transmitter over here the Tron transmitter so I can wear it or use it with my switch but I also connected it to my phone via the normal Bluetooth and whenever I want to switch between the two you just basically turn one on and you and it will just override it and it'll connect to it so if I was on my switch I just turn on my Bluetooth on my phone uh, tap it and then it will come on and then when I want to switch it back over uh, just turn off the Bluetooth on your phone and it will just reconnect back to this one so they stay connected to both of them already synced so there's no need for you to repair it every single time you want to connect it to the switch or to your phone it's just basically they're, two, they're the two main devices that I use these headphones with it will be my phone predominantly and then anything else would be the transmitter for my switch so that I can you know wirelessly use it on the go so this is going to be I'll be set for any travels now if I wanted to I'm on a long plane ride I'll have these it will block out any sort of aeroplane noise and um, yeah with the ANC I can wirelessly use my switch and when I want to flip over back to my phone and watch a bit on Netflix I can do that just as easily so yeah really happy with this and um, yeah finally I've got the quality headphones for an affordable price with the Bluetooth transmissions and in APTX low latency that is I think that's it now I think I'm really happy with that there's no need for me to buy any more headphones I've always been searching for headphones and they've never had uh, the quality of the obviously the, the higher end labels you know the Boses and your other brands that are high quality um, with the APTX low latency but now I can with this help of this awesome adapter I've been able to do that so yeah Anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer every single one. Thanks a lot for watching this entire video. And um, yeah, I'm always looking for new ways to experience uh, the Nintendo Switch 
with the best um, tech available and this is one of the best ways you can experience it uh, without having to have a wire connected to it. Anyway guys, until next time, take care guys, this is Mac. Peace. Ow.